kick things off today, we are going to hear from Clara Chow, who is the Filecoin Foundation founding officer. She's going to give us an ecosystem update, uh, a quick speed run here, and then we're going to dive into some of our incredible speakers. So Clara, take, a, take it away. Amazing. Good morning, everyone. I'm so thrilled to welcome everyone to the first ever Coindesk Live Fill Fest, which is focused on key updates across the Filecoin ecosystem. Um, so this morning, as Aaron mentioned, we'll hear from a lot of incredible teams that are building on the Filecoin ecosystem and really thinking about the next era of decentralized storage. And so as we kick off, um, I just wanted to start off with this statistic. Over 400 million terabytes of data are created daily all around the world. Today, we're consuming data more than ever. And in fact, if you think about this in Star Wars movies, uh, this would be 400 million copies of the Star, Word, Star Wars film um, that would be encompassed in amount of data, and that's in 4K uh, capability. You can also think about this as 912 million years to watch all the Star Wars movies back to back. So that's a lot of data we're thinking about in terms of being created daily. And fueling the exponential growth of data um, in this day and age is really the buzzword of AI. In fact, large computational models like ChatGPT, uh, they are trained on a huge array of data coming from different text, different books, uh, different available uh, sources from the web today. However, the key question everyone is asking is how can we actually consume and, and trust that the data we see on the web today is authentic? A lot of people have seen headlines where there are uh, particular models that have such inaccurate data because the text they're trained on um, is telling people to eat rocks, right? So there's there's a lot of um, errors in this, and people today are having a hard time trusting AI because they can't trust the data layer um, that is underneath all of that. And what's great about blockchain and what we're building here at the Filecoin ecosystem is we are bringing that trust layer back to data. So today, uh, we see data fuel every segment of our economy from uh, our physical smartphone devices, all the way to our ability to transact in digital assets. If you're here having a hardware ledger or a wallet, you're still using data. Um, and today, even major businesses and enterprises are relying on data to be able to make key business decisions. In this data-driven economy, um, the challenge today is most of our data is still belonging in the hands of a few major monopolies that often dictate and control the data that we see today. And this also allows for a single point of failure. We all remember a few years ago when Facebook went down and many small businesses couldn't access their basic websites, they couldn't run their businesses. And so AI is very much at risk of following this path. And we do believe that Filecoin and decentralized storage is this solution. And so over the last few years, um, Filecoin, the white paper, was actually written over a decade ago. And it was launched in around 2017 to the general public, but our ecosystem has been thinking about this issue for a long time. How do we, instead of having one central place where data lives in the hands of monopolies, we have data centers all around the world that can be run by entrepreneurs, storage providers, that can provide data to people that need them. And in less than three years after Filecoin's mainnet launch, we've done exactly that. We've driven up huge adoption in our storage providers, growing in every continent around the world except Antarctica. We have huge amounts of data utilization, and we also uh, have been able to get a lot of growth from the rest of the blockchain ecosystem and also the rest of the world, really understanding what DPIN is, um, how to think about decentralized compute and also the explosion of the overall data economy. You can see here um, in just this quarter alone, we have over 9% of growth in uploading large terabytes of data. Um, in fact, nearly 1,900 petabytes were stored on the network in total active deals in just Q a Q1 alone. I also wanted to really spend a few minutes to talk about our incredible developer ecosystem on the Filecoin network. We have entrepreneurs that are building on Filecoin, really thinking about decentralized compute, DPIN, gaming, AI, 
data DAOs, and more. And you can see some of these highlighted on the screen behind me. You might also want to check your vision if you can't read it. But <laughs> I know the text is small. Um, but I wanted to highlight a couple of, uh, a couple of these projects. Uh, number one is Numbers Protocol. This year, we're facing the most amount of elections around the world. And everyone is going to vote. And a big question in election integrity is, how do we actually trust the data that politicians are talking about is accurate? How do we trust that election data that's being fed into voting machines are accurate? Well, we have companies like Number Protocol that have been working with the Taiwan government and also the Indian government to really safeguard their elections, starting with uh, their their ability to capture what is happening during elections and also their ability to verify data during the election process. We also have Seal Storage, who you'll hear about uh, throughout this week, and also Filecoin B Store that recently announced a partnership uh, with the Cyber Smart Research Coalition that's part of the National Science Foundation, and they're really looking at ensuring that we can be trustworthy when we're using generative AI and LLM data sets. And finally, we have groups like Climate GPT, which allows for open source LLMs to address climate change. Today, you can imagine climate change is a very controversial issue on the web. There's a lot of inaccurate information out there. And Equity Lab, their AI suite, has registered a ton of trustworthy climate change data and building um, an AI uh, layer on top of that that is backed up by Hedera, who is also one of our sponsors here, and then preserved on IPFS and Filecoin. So um, to take a step back, um, I just wanted to show this picture here, which is really beautiful to see over the years. This is a graph of all of our storage providers around the world. Today, we have over 3,000 storage provider nodes in over 40 countries, and this is growing um, year by year. And this really demonstrates just how robust the backbone of our uh, ecosystem is. We have uh, so many different nodes around the world that are really safeguarding everyone's data. I also wanted to help answer the question for those that are newer to Filecoin, what actually is being stored on Filecoin? Uh, what kind of data sets and, and why on the decentralized web? Well, um, we have a couple of really great solutions for how we can make data storage really easy. This is not possible without our storage providers and our partners out there. Lighthouse is a perpetual storage solution built on Filecoin that makes it possible to do multiple storage deals at once. We have groups like CID Gravity, who will also be here later this week, uh, that are helping enterprises uh, be able to upload their data in a secure way. We also have Ghost Drive. And if you guys have ever dealt with storage issues on your phone, Ghost Drive is a great way to encrypt your data and also back it up without necessarily having to pay Apple or another large monopoly uh, tons of data. So we have so many different on-ramps to be able to store data on the Filecoin network and even more um, to come. These are just a few small examples. And, um, and then you see also from the client side, there are so many different kinds of data stored on the Filecoin network today. Um, in Australia, we have the Victor Chang uh, Cardiac Research Institute that's actually sharing cardiac research data. This is so important for making sure we can have breakthroughs in medicine. We have uh, programs like Democracy's Library run out of Internet Archive that we support that are backing up critical government data sets. I talked about elections, but there's also important information that is needed in times of war, where um, often in war people destroy existing government data sets to pretend a country didn't exist. And these are more important this time than ever, as we see a lot of changes in massive administrations with um, what just you know, happened in the UK, what's happening with elections in, in France right now, more to come. We also have amazing um, genomic research data from partners like Generate uh, that is making sure that we have uh, the huge amounts of vast data and genomic sequencing uh, stored on the decentralized web. We have Starling Lab, who stores a lot of human rights data from Holocaust survivors to photographic evidence of war crimes in Ukraine. We have DSI Labs, which really allows researchers all around the world to actually independently verify that the data sets they're using for research is the same type and that they can work collaboratively together with the right trustworthy data sources. So these are just a few, but this week you'll hear from a lot more, and you'll also have the chance to really meet the builders building this technology. So um, looking ahead, I wanted to kind of 
bring three proof points for the Filecoin focus, uh, Filecoin ecosystem as we think about this year moving forward. So we have three huge priorities that we're pushing to drive in our ecosystem. The first is making sure that we can continue to grow the client pipeline. Um, a lot of companies this, this week, you'll see during HCC, they're building really critical solutions in blockchain, but it's really hard to find real world use cases that are actually helpful to the rest of the world. And we've seen this already in the use cases I've described of why decentralized storage has been so critical to store humanity's most important information. But we need to continue growing this client pipeline. We know about the vast opportunity of data available, and we would love your help in thinking about who would be great solutions to, uh, to who needs decentralized storage as that, that solution. We also want to continue to grow on-chain activity. So we have so much um, in, important information that um, is also stored on Web3, on L2s, um, on so many different applications. And uh, just last year, uh, we announced being able to back up uh, Solana's entire block history through the help of our storage providers. And so there's so much more that we're gonna be announcing later this year around that. We also have um, a lot of work around renewals, um, really mapping how many storage clients are renewing their, their deals. Um, we also have over 3,400 smart contracts stored on Filecoin this quarter alone. So we can't wait to see those numbers grow. And finally, we wanna make sure that Filecoin is indispensable. We want to make sure that um, we can make Filecoin really useful as that key backup storage layer um, that everyone can use for cold all the way to warm and hot storage. And so there are so many companies this week that will be presenting on exactly just that. And so on behalf of the Filecoin Foundation, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we are the long-term stewards of the Filecoin network. You can learn more at phil.org. And we're thrilled to be here at Phil Brussels. We also have as Aaron said, a number of exciting talks here at the Filecoin Network base, Phil Brussels. We also have a Filecoin Dev Summit. So if you're a builder and you want to have a more close-knit community to think about problem solving in Filecoin, it's just a seven-minute walk from here. Um, and we can't wait to have you guys hear from all of our incredible ecosystem thing teams. Thank you so much.